I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Like, I actually don't know if you guys are ready for this one. Before I get into it, guys, please press that like button. Please press that subscribe button if you want to see more reviews on sneakers. But also, a lot of other things are going to come up on this channel surrounding what's happening in Toronto and the 6th. And just what's ever happening well, that's on my mind that I want to spill out to you guys. And if you guys can, press that notification button because gang gang, I like seeing whoever comments first because it's pretty interesting. And I want to see your comments too. That's my intro because that's all I really have to say. I'm super stoked and excited to have these shoes in my possession right now. Let's go straight to the review. I didn't fart. That was... That was the chair, I promise you guys, I didn't fart. Up first, we have my Gilpo merchandise. You guys, check it out if you guys want t-shirts. still on there. We have the 350 box. We have the Boost. We have the 350adidas.com slash Kanye. We have empty side. We have empty bottom. If you guys want to see what an authentic tag looks like, this is what it should look like in the nine and a half. The color where you have white, core black, or sea black, also known as kabak, and red. Beautiful. <sighs> Not gonna lie to you, I've already pulled them out once, but I needed to because they are just something else. Introducing to you guys right now. The Yeezy 350 Zebras. Holy junk. These are ridiculous. Like, they actually are ridiculous. Like, even before, you guys have heard me say it before, this was the one colorway I was looking forward to. The Zebras, this is un freaking believable. Look at that. Let me just, like, let me just really hit you guys with some amazing shots of the shoe. Now I'm not as good as Sean Go. Sean Go is like an amazing photographer and his shots are beautiful. You got the pull tab on it again right here. You got the white stripe here with the Supply 350 in red. It's looking like the same red on the black and red 350s that came out the V2s. And obviously as you see these black stripes, the core black stripes on the white, which is why it is nicknamed the Zebras. That prime knit upper, oh my gosh. Beautiful. Laces, beautiful. Insole, beautiful. Boost, beautiful. I actually love this part right here too. I love how it's not really the exact same white, it just adds a little difference to it. Now what's interesting about this V2 is that they brought it back to being only in an Adidas original release. So there's only three places where you can get it. If it's an Adidas original store, online for our .com and .ca for us in Canada, and then also Yeezy Supply is going to have a few pairs of these. Now I know in Canada right now, there are only three stores in Canada that have it. In Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. It's interesting enough that we got three because only America-wide, according to High Slovaity and Yeezy Mafia, only four stores were able to get it in America. And what was even more interesting, just because I am Korean and I want to check how, much, how many pairs Korea got, Korea had five stores that were carrying. Now that's not to say that they had a, like, a, like a crazy amount, and I'm sure the stores in the States had more available in store than we did here in Canada or in Korea. And I'm sure the dot-com release will have a lot more pairs uh, available in dot-com versus us in Canada. But what it just like goes to show you is that, you know, there's not that many pairs out there and they really try to limit it out again. Again guys, there's not much to say about V2s because you've seen so many other reviews of the V2s online. I don't have a fake with me, so I can't compare the face with it. But what I can do is just show you just shots of the shoe, just because I know you would appreciate that. So in the comment section below, I don't want to hear if everyone took an L or a W, because I know majority of the people, I'll probably say 
95% of the people that tried to enter a rap or whatnot took an L on this shoe. Let me know if you think this shoe is just purely all hype or if you think this shoe is really a good looking shoe. Because if you guys remember when the Turtle Dolls first came out, everybody, I'm telling everybody was hating on the shoe saying that it just looked like a Roshi run and that Adidas, I don't know what Kanye was doing. But now when you think about the Turtle Dolls and when you see the Turtle Dolls, so many people are on that hype and are on that shoe. Do you think the V2s are going to be the same thing? Do you think the Zebra 1 is going to be the same thing where maybe it's the opposite effect? People are overhyping it at the start and it will die down eventually. Thank you for watching my review of the Yeezy V2s. If you guys can press that like button, press that subscribe button, like I said in the beginning of the video. Follow me on my Instagram, Samsa TRD. Follow me on my other Instagram for my, my merchandise, IPOPO. This is your boy Six Sand coming at you from Six Reviews. Hey, oh, 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 oh. that's a Yeezy toss. Hey, we out.